while holding cash may provide a sense of security for some people and it might even be your case. It's not the most effective way to grow your wealth over the long term. Warren Buffett, one of the most successful investors in the history, has long been an advocate for investing in quality assets rather than holding on to cash. Well, cash is always a bad investment. I mean, when people said cash is king a year ago, I mean, that's crazy. I mean, cash wasn't producing anything and it was sure to go down in value over time. He once also said that if you don't find a way to make your money while you sleep, you will work until you die. While investing in assets may involve more risk than holding the cash, the potential rewards can be as significant for those who take a long-term view and invest wisely. That's why in this video, we will discover the best long-term assets that Warren Buffett considers having the most value in today's world. But first, let's discover why holding cash is not the greatest move. Holding cash is not always the best move because cash typically loses value over time due to inflation. Inflation is the rate at which the general price level of goods and services increases over time, which means that the same amount of cash can buy fewer goods and services in the future than it can today. But the, all you know is that the dollar is going to be worth less 10, 20, 30 years from now. I say worth less, not right. worthless. Uh, it depreciates in value, but cash, cash is not a place to, uh, at that. Additionally, holding on to cash means missing out on potential returns that could be generated through investing in assets. These assets have the potential to appreciate in value over time, providing a return on investment that exceeds the rate of inflation. And talking about assets, here's a list of the best ones that Warren Buffett advises everyone to invest into. At the core of Warren Buffett's investment philosophy is his belief in the power of long-term investing. Rather than trying to time the market or like chase the latest fads, he focuses on buying quality business with strong fundamentals and holding on to them for the long term. In fact, many of the companies in his portfolio has been held for decades, demonstrating his commitment to the long view. He often says that his favorite holding period is forever. And he has held into some of his investments such as Coca-Cola and American Express for decades. He believes that by investing in high quality companies with strong competitive advantages and holding on to them for the long term, investors can generate superior returns over time. Uh, we will always have enough cash yeah. around, but anytime we have surplus cash around, I'm unhappy. I mean, I would much rather have good businesses than cash. Yeah. Uh, and it is a hedge against the dollar? Well, you can say all assets are a hedge against okay. uh, the dollar. Warren Buffett is known for his prudent and successful investment strategies. And one of his key pieces of advice is not to base investment decisions solely on the stock's price. In fact, the price of a stock does not always reflect its true value, which may not align with an investor's perception of an opportunity. Therefore, it's essential to consider the underlying fundamentals of a company, such as its earnings potential and competitive advantage before making investment decisions. Buying a stock at a low price doesn't always guarantee a good investment. And as the stock may continue to decrease in value, similarly, investing in a profitable stock at a higher price can lead to an unprofitable investment with a high cost. A good business is the one that earns a high rate of return on, on tangible <laughs> assets. And of course, if you don't pay too much, they can be a good investment. They're a good business to start with by the high returns. If you pay too much for them, you can turn a, a good business into a bad investment. But the big mistake which we made in the early years was to try and buy a bad business at a really cheap price. And uh, it took me about 20 or 30 years to figure out that wasn't a good idea. <laughs> While stocks are the most commonly discussed asset by Warren Buffett, it's worth noting compared to the one that will be revealed at the end of this video. And therefore, it's important to watch until the end of this video to learn about the last asset on our list, which Warren Buffett considers the best investment ever. Real estate. It may seem mind blowing that this asset ends up on this list as Warren Buffett has already mentioned several times that this asset is not for every type of investor. Indeed, real estate is a challenging area to invest in, which Warren Buffett does not advise to beginners, but only people with a deep understanding of the local market and a significant amount of time, effort, and especially money to manage the properties effectively. He advises investors to invest in real estate 
only after careful analysis and consideration of the local market dynamics, such as supply and demand, demographics, and economic factors. When it comes to investing in real estate, Buffett looks for opportunities to invest in high-quality properties with strong cash flows and long-term outlook. He prefers to invest in properties that are good in condition, with attractive features and amenities, and located in desirable areas with a low risk of vacancy. Same as his mentality with businesses, Buffett emphasizes the importance of being patient and disciplined when investing in real estate. He advises investors to avoid overpaying for properties or getting caught up in speculative bubbles and to focus on finding good value for their money over the long term. Collectibles Assets Did you know that over the past decade, Rolex watches have emerged as a profitable investment, outperforming traditional assets like gold, real estate, and even stocks? This phenomenon exemplifies the power that collectible assets can add to one's portfolio, and it's not just limited to watches. Luxury cars, for an instance, has shown to be a valuable asset class that differentiates itself from typical vehicles. While cars are often considered as a liability, rare and exotic models can appreciate in value over time. For an instance, limited edition Ferraris and Lamborghinis have the potential to increase in value significantly providing lucrative investment opportunities for car collectors. Timing the market is crucial to buying at a fair price and selling for a profitable market to generate returns. Art is another highly sought after asset in the collectibles market, as investing in art provides diversification benefits that reduce overall risk. Moreover, investing in art can be a source of personal enjoyment and cultural enrichment, and some collectors are passionate about supporting the arts. One advantage of investing in collectibles is that they can provide a hedge against inflation and economic downturns, as their value is often not directly tied to the stock market or other traditional investments. However, it is important to note that investing in collectibles can also come with risks, such as authenticity issues and fluctuations in demands. As with any investment, it is crucial to conduct through research and analysis before making any investment decisions. With proper due diligence and a long-term investment horizon, collectibles can be a valuable addition to a well-diversified portfolio. Buffett believes that investing in yourself both in terms of knowledge and skills is the best investment that you can make. Warren Buffett's philosophy about investing in yourself can be summed up in his famous quote, invest in yourself as much as you can. You are your own biggest asset by far. Well, I'll give you two pieces of advice. I'd invest as much in myself as you can. I mean, you're, you're your own biggest asset by far. I mean, most people go through life using up a very, very small part of their potential. And so anything you do that invests in yourself, uh, is, that's the best investment you can possibly make. He has often emphasized the importance of continuous learning and personal development, saying that the more you learn, the more you earn. Buffett himself is known for his voracious reading habit, often spending several hours a day reading books, newspapers, and financial reports. He has said that this habit has helped him to develop his investing skills and to stay up to date on market trends. In addition to reading, Buffett also believes in surrounding yourself with the right people. He has often said that he has been lucky to have great mentors and colleagues throughout his career who have helped him learn and grow. He also emphasizes the importance of integrity and ethics in business, saying that these qualities can help build a reputation and relationships that can pay dividends over the long term. Buffett's mentality is all about making the right decisions for you to have the most success in a long-term perspective. After all, no matter what field you want to succeed in, it's with your knowledge, your mentality, your efforts, and whatever you personally decide that will result in whether or not to pursue your goals. That was the best long-term assets that are better than cash that Warren Buffett is recommending to investors. Remember, investing in assets can provide significant long-term financial benefits, and we encourage you to do your own research before making any investment decisions. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel for more valuable content on personal finance and investing. Don't forget to hit the notification bell to stay updated on our latest uploads. And here's a video that could potentially interest you about Warren Buffett's best advice for investors in 2023.